Should we, assume they mean South Carolina here, should we give Muschamp another year? Because I don't know if Bobo has time to build a new offense. This is actually a really good question, and it applies beyond South Carolina. Think about who you perceive to be on the hot seat. Will Muschamp fits that description. Entering spring ball, entering the 2020 season, who was on the hot seat? Now I want you to imagine a world wherein these programs lose football revenue. I don't think this will happen, but it could happen. What if there is a medium that has to be met where college football games are played in empty stadiums? Again, don't foresee that happening, but what if it does happen? How does that impact the financial coffers of programs like South Carolina, where in turn, instead of readily being able to pay buyout money, all of a sudden you've got to really tighten up the purse strings? Just one very side sort of ancillary note to keep in mind, this could be in play. You could have a lot of guys with sort of a figurative stay of execution if the revenues for football are impacted in the 2020 season. So that's a good question there, Thomas. I think a lot of it depends. Well, it first and foremost depends on how they operate this year. And you asked about Bobo and the installation of the offense. I will tell you this from someone really close to those guys and really close to the program. There is, for the first time, a sense that Muschamp has a guy as his OC that he has no problem totally handing control to. We've heard it said before. All I can tell you is I've never fully heard that sentiment expressed from the particular people that I'm talking about right now. So I have no choice but to believe them. Well, I have a choice, but I'm going to believe them. And therefore, I'm going to believe that even with the current circumstances as they are, Will Muschamp and Mike Bobo believe that they can be offensively what they need to be. If you missed the sort of comparison that I gave, uh, it's been a couple of weeks now, to South Carolina this year, you can think of South Carolina football this year the same way you think of being rushed in the morning. You know the feeling. Uh, you have probably not gone to the office in a little while, but eventually when things return to normal, my guess is May, by the way, when things return to normal and a lot of us start going back to an office on a day-to-day -day basis, you got to be there at 8 a.m. and it's 7.41 already and it's a 20-ish minute drive to work. You already don't know if you're going to get there on time. So you grab your stuff, you grab your keys, you grab your briefcase and you get in the car and you're flying down the interstate running through in your mind the checklist. Did I remember everything? knowing all the while, if you forgot something, you have no opportunity to turn around. So that's South Carolina this year. If everything hits the ground running as it's supposed to, they could be a good team this year. But if even one thing goes wrong, they don't have time to fix it. Right now, Will Muschamp is not working with an extra year in his back pocket. He doesn't have that safety net. I thought he had it last year and I was right. I didn't ever buy into the hot seat talk last year. I do. If things are back to normal, I do this year. So if they leave the house at 741 and they got everything, they can get there by 8 o'clock. Are they going to have everything? That's the big question.